Hey, I am Manish Muljandani, NEET 2017 AIR 3 and AIMS 2017 AIR 10. Now, I will be discussing some important topics for, for physics, for NEET as well as AIMS. To start with mechanics, the most, one of the most important topics, 1D, 2D motion are the ones which are usually taught first in the coaching classes and they also have a considerable importance in NEET. You will have to learn to how to solve graph based questions, situation based questions and how to use efficiently use the equations of motions and <coughs> projectile motion. Projectile motion is very important. You will be getting questions with graphs in which you will have, have to compare range and the maximum height reached and how the maximum velocity and how the angle that it makes with the horizontal and with the vertical affects its range and height. These all can be put in a numerical format or in a theoretical question. So projectile was important. Rocket propulsion is also important from mechanics point of view. Now coming to <coughs> Newton's laws of motion. Momentum conservation is very very important. You will be getting thousands of questions related to momentum conservation. So be thorough with it. Apart from momentum conservation, you will have to uh, solve some questions uh, related with F equal to MA based related with momentum conservation and card based questions in which a person is sitting on the card, the sand is leaking and the person jumps off so what will be the velocity of the card after the person jumps off so these kind of questions you will be frequently getting to see while you solve the previous papers and the reference books of for NEAT and games physics so that was for momentum conservation apart from that rocket propulsion is also an important variety of questions which is asked based on the momentum conservation principle Coming to work power energy, you will have to calculate work done in various situations and at various angles, you will have to be thorough with the work done in circular motion which is zero because it makes an angle of 90 degree with the force that is being applied and <clears throat> there will be some theoretical questions based on whether the work done is positive or negative, where the work done is zero, where the work done is uh, will be calculated from the graph, where it cannot be calculated, that's it for work power energy. And yeah, one uh, important variety of question is based on a, a person who has a pipe in his hand and who is trying to extinguish a fire. Basically, he is a firefighter. So, what should be the variety? Uh, what should sorry? What should be the velocity with which water should leave the pipe of a given diameter so that it reaches a height of h meters so that it can efficiently uh, d diminish the fire? So, this is an important variety of questions in which students frequently falter. Coming to rotation. Rotation is to be very thoroughly studied, but you have to keep in mind that rotation is a sub is a topic of physics where various or m numerous need aspirants develop a fear for physics just because they get into the very detail of rotation, which is not required for need. You are not aspiring for IIT or any other examination which checks your aptitude in physics and so and so. You do not need to know the derivations. You just need to learn the moment of inertia of a few standard shaped objects like a cylinder, a rod, a square plate, a triangular plate and something like that. Based on that, you will be getting questions in which there is a plate and out of which a circle of radius r has been cut. So you will be asked to find out the moment of inertia of the remaining figure uh, or of the remaining part if the moment of inertia of the initial part was m. So the moment of inertia will be something 3 by 4m or 5 by 6m related to that. So you'll have to use all your aptitude to solve that question, but do not go into the very details of rotation. Momentum conservation, conservation of angular momentum is important. Coming to uh, physical world and measurements, this is not a very important topic, so you must not uh, lay stress on it. But if you want to study some topics, they, that would constitute vernier calipers, significant figures, and errors. Coming to modern physics. This uh, to a great extent overlaps with physical chemistry. You will get to see important topics like photoelectric effect, like kinetic theory of gases and thermodynamics which you have already studied in physical chemistry. The only difference which you will find is the language of questions which may also be same in some situations and the sign of the work done in thermodynamics which will be negative sometimes for physics or uh, negative sometimes for chemistry. So you have to be careful regarding that. SHM is also important. You need to learn the various formulas, pendulum is an important case, the various systems of oscillation, the uh, sling based problems in which a string is attached and a mass is suspended to it under vertical uh, setup or in a horizontal setup. 
Similar questions you can also get in electrostatics in which instead of gravitational force you have electrostatic force. So that was for class 11 physics. Coming to class 12 physics. Class 12 physics starts with electrostats and the most important topic in electrostats is Coulomb's law. So you will be getting questions in which two objects having charge plus Q and 2Q are touched and they exchange their charges, what will be the new force of attraction and if the distance is quadrupled, what will be the effect on the force of attraction or repulsion between them. So these kinds of problems you will frequently get in Coulomb's law. Then we have current electricity which is another very important topic for, phys uh, for NEAT. So you will have to so learn to solve uh, RC circuits and uh, various simple resistance circuits also having switches and bulbs. The Wheatstone bridge is the single most important circuit which you need to know. Apart from that you will get, uh, get to see questions like uh, there are X bulbs which are connected in series and you will get a, get a complex circuit. If X switch is switched on and Y switch is, y switch is switched off, what will be the effect on brightness? or which bulb will be the brightest of all. So you'll have to compare the bulb. So this is an also an important variety of questions which you'll get to see. Apart, coming to magnetism. Magnetism is also important. You need to uh, learn to apply the formula F equal to BQV sin theta. And on the basis of that, you can get a problem in which a rod is to be balanced with magnetic force and gravitational force with magnetic force acting in the upward direction and gravitational force acting in the downward direction. So you have to learn to apply that. Apart from that, electromagnetic induction is a very very important topic for NEAT and AIMS also. Lenz law you need, you must be well versed with and you have to understand what is the basis of Lenz law, what are the principles which are behind the formulation of the Lenz's law. In alternating current, you need to learn how to calculate power and phase difference when you are given the graph or when you are not given the graph. You need to learn about the different waveforms like sinusoidal, triangular, sawtooth and, uh, and so on. Coming to EM waves, EM waves must not be learned in detail but definitely one or two questions will be asked from that in EMS and in NEED2. So you need to be familiar with the properties and how the electric and magnetic waves will oscillate perpendicular to each other and if the electric field is in the x direction then what will be the velocity of propagation of, then what will be the direction of propagation of the EM wave such kind of questions you will frequently encounter. Then we have semiconductors. Semiconductor is a very very important topic for NEAT and AIMS also. A lot of numericals are formed as well as theoretical questions. You will get to see assertion reasons of the highest standard from semiconductors. So you need to be familiar with the PN junctions, the diodes, the forward and the reverse biasing, the various circuits which we use, the PNR and the PNP and the NPP circuit which we have in semiconductors. You need to be well versed with it. Apart from that, the various devices like photo, photo plate and all which are you which are based on semiconductors. You need to know the principle and you need to be familiar with the kind of quantitative questions and numericals which may be framed keeping those topics or those devices into consideration. Coming to optics, ray optics you start with plane mirror which is not so important. We come to spherical mirrors which are very very important concave mirror and convex mirror. You will be giving combination of two mirrors plays the distance of x centimeter having focal length of f centimeter and you will be asked to calculate magnification or what will be the nature of the image. Such kind of questions you will get to see. TIR is another important topic. TIR, rainbow, rainbow formation, what is the principle, the primary rainbow, the secondary rainbow. Coming to wave optics which is very very important and a bit tricky, tricky to understand. So you need to learn about diffraction and the spectrum of light, what, when will the light show wave nature, when will the light show ray nature and when, when, will, we, uh, when will we get to see the splitting of light into seven colors, what is the use of prism and what is the principle on which high, high quality microscopes work, telescopes work, you will get various numericals on microscopes and telescopes. What are the factors which limit the resolution of a microscope? What are the factors which limit the magnification of a telescope? Why can't magnification ensure resolution? You'll get theoretical as well as numerical questions based on microscopes and telescopes. So do study these topics very very carefully and very diligently. And friends, do not forget to make a formula copy for physics which you have to keep on revising every time. Before your examination, whenever you get 10-15 minutes free, 
or before the NEET and AIMS examination also. The formula copy is the key to success for physics of any medical examination. Like the video? Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay updated on other universities and entrance exams. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and www.careers360.com.